Hey, what is up YouTube? And today we got the final reviews on the rest of Unmatch Series 4. You know how we do, side of the package, the back of the package, other people in the wave, and the other side. We have the Luminarius Chris Jericho, that's why it's in blue. Sting was Luminarius and I don't remember who was for Unmatch Series 1. And I also believe that Brody Lee was Luminarius too. So let's crack these figures out of their packaging. Getting into Jade's accessories, she only has these pair of interchangeable fists. But getting into the figure itself here, pretty good likeness. And this is her first AEW women's, uh, her first AEW figure. As you know, bicep swivel, double jointed arms, uh, rotation at the wrist. Ab crunch is pretty good, but it is a women's AEW figure. And this is made out of plastic instead of the rubber. We got the double jointed knees, upper thigh cut, lower uh, boot rotation. Not much of an ankle rocker, but we do have the other ankle joint, which is pretty cool. I don't know how, like, I don't really like this figure. It doesn't, she can't really look up that much, and she can't really look down. And I don't know, mine just feels a little bit weird in the hand, but that might just be mine. And let's get on to Chris Jericho. And now getting on into the Jericho, he comes with this uh, rubber jacket, which... I always hate rubber accessories. It does clasp in the front. But this is a soft, a softer rubber uh, material than other rubber stuff. Other rubber jackets are pretty hard. So I'm glad that this is at least a, sof a softer material. But getting into the head, I don't know if I really like this head scan. I mean, it looks a little bit like Jericho. And... This Jericho is from like his early, early days. It's a flashback figure. So that's why. The yellow trunks are pretty cool. Um, basically, same articulation as Jade Cargill. Uh, upper bicep swivel, double jointed arms. Rotates at the wrist. Uh, ab crunch, it does pop off if you go too far. Can't really look up because of the long hair piece. Can't really look down. Um, double jointed knees. He does have boot rotation, which I do like, um, and the upper thigh cut is there. I don't know why this one wasn't moving. There we go. And he can do the splits. That's another thing I forgot to mention about Jade. She can do the splits as well. But overall, I do like this figure. This figure, I wasn't too excited for, but it lived up to the height. I think this is actually one of the best figures in the set and I was not excited for this figure at all. You could see the little uh, lion right there on his trunks. It says lion, has the gold little like tassels, plain black knee pads, lion and then lion right there on the kick pads. So let's do some posability. But before we get into the posability section, we have the Series 1B Jericho, the Unmatched 4 in the middle, and then on the right, the Unrivaled Series 8. They all are different, and they all look very good. I still don't have the Series 6 Jericho, which sucks. That's the only Jericho I believe that I'm missing from the main line. But one thing I do want to do is I want to swap the 1B upper half onto the unmatched four. Okay, so now that we did we did that, this is definitely a different look for Jericho, and it would be really cool to you know if he brought back this attire, um, and just wore it for one night or whatever. But I don't think he's a big fan of his old character, so let's get the posability into this video. I just forgot that I forgot to rank this set. So coming in 
at the last place spot for me it has to be Jade Cargill just really wasn't excited for this figure and yeah mine feels a little weird in the hand now coming in at the number five spot this took me a little bit to think about but I think I'm gonna have to go with the Adam Hangman page I love this figure I just don't know how much usage I'm gonna get out of it so that's why it's coming in at number five coming in at number four is going to be the Cody Rhodes now yes I do love the suited Cody and yeah it's great and I love the head scan that I finally got but it's a suited Cody Rhodes. Again, don't know how much usage I'm going to get out of it. So now, coming in at number three, in my opinion, I am going to have to go with the Light Champion, Chris Jericho. Weird figure, but, and it's a flashback, Um, but... I like, like, the bottom half of it. The top half head skin, I still don't know how to feel about. And, yeah. Coming in at number two in the set, I would have to go with MJF. Just MJF, I don't really know how much longer he's going to be in AEW. And, yeah. That means Punk comes in at number one. I don't really like the punk but it's it's still a cm punk and it is an i figure so i have to go with cm punk right there all right so there's the little lion salt posability and that is gonna do it for today's review guys please smash the like button if you enjoyed comment down your favorite part and i will see you guys when i review unrivaled series 9